Hi everyone. Another question today, which I thought was a really good one. Um, what oh, should you be using welcome questionnaires? Uh, oh, juicy one. Um, I thought this was a good one actually, because um, welcome questionnaires are kind of a new thing in the industry. And um, I'm one of those people that led with it when I was uh, working with e-design. So this is something that I am very familiar with. It's something uh, that I uh, probably started <laughs> even as a as an interior designer um, who has a big voice in the industry. So um, should you be using them? Well, <laughs> not everyone should be. And the reason why I used welcome questionnaires when I started my business was because I was working on low cost projects. I was working on e-designs. I was churning out drawings. I was churning out clients and projects and I was um, doing a lot of low cost projects but quickly and it makes sense to use welcome questionnaires if you've got a, a, an if you're if you're using an automated system or a low cost uh, if you're working on low cost projects obviously if you're working with luxury projects um, having a welcome questionnaire is a really bad idea because um, you probably what you should have instead is a pre-qualifying type of process um, to see if you're the right fit but a welcome questionnaire these people are going to laugh at you <laughs> so um, I think you need to understand that uh, a welcome questionnaire is not for every interior designer and it's not for every type of project they're only for smaller to medium sized projects or uh, people who are like a specific niche like busy professionals entrepreneurs who would rather do something in their own time and do an online kind of form welcome questionnaire that they're happy to do even if they are perhaps um, a, a larger or a bigger project maybe a, a higher end project but apart from that I mean you really need to know your niche because um, uh, a high-end client will laugh if you send them a welcome questionnaire they will not they will they will not um answer it because that's your job to find out what it is that they want these are different types of clients and so i always keep coming back to this thing running a small project is different to running a big project if you're doing full service design a welcome questionnaire is highly unlikely one of the things that's part of your onboarding process a qualifying uh, questionnaire might be something but that's probably done over the phone or um, face to face if you are um, providing um, that high end high touch type of service but um, <clears throat> the only time you would be using a welcome questionnaire is um, on lower cost projects so these are people who um, you're trying to see if you're um, if you're the right fit I mean depending on where you're adding the welcome questionnaire in your process because I am of the belief that I would not bother sending out my welcome questionnaire unless I've already gotten payment because I'm not looking at that project unless I'm being paid to look at it so um, and that's also what I teach because there are different types of um, consultations too much to go into in today's um, session but uh, a welcome questionnaire is it could be part of that process so for example if you are working on um, higher-end projects maybe the consultation is when you work through I mean you still need to ask the questions that are in your welcome questionnaire you still need those answers but how you deliver it is important so for a high-end client you would never actually just send a, a word document or something or do an online kind of uh, what are those what are those ones with a, with a can with the with the link to um, the calendar as well calendly links and I mean, I've tried it all. I'm not going to say that these don't work. They don't work for specific clients. And if you're working in the luxury industry or high-end clients, it will not work with them <laughs> unless they are a specific type of client who are tech savvy and usually professionals who, you know, they're not, you know, by the time they are wanting to hire an interior designer, it's 10 o'clock at night. They would just want to do the online process and just get it over and done with rather than uh, people who, are um, expecting you to do the legwork for them um, and can afford for you to do that so whereas most people who are using welcome questionnaires they're these you know projects up to 100k where 
that's that's not I mean in to you that might be a lot of money but in the grand scheme of a project that isn't a lot of money and um, these are people who um, when you look at the fee that you're getting in comparison to the project type and project scale it's not that much so you need automated systems you need some processes that deal with smaller clients to make the projects profitable and a welcome questionnaire is part of that so um, that kind of uh, uh, wraps that up any questions specific to welcome questionnaires because they have worked exceptionally well for me as part of my onboarding onboarding process but again they were part of an onboarding process for smaller projects e-designs um, literally projects up to 100k in cost not not larger projects as soon as I started working on bigger projects for myself the welcome questionnaire was irrelevant these people I needed to have um, uh, a qualifying process to see if we were the right fit and don't get me started on discovery calls or maybe I'll do another session on that but um, uh, an actual welcome questionnaire they, they would laugh at you you still obviously need to get the details but what if you're dealing with the project manager instead of the client I mean is there a different ballpark client so you don't just send them a welcome questionnaire that's lazy and it looks disrespectful but with a with a uh, a smaller end client, this is part of the process, and this is how we make a profit, and how to make the process and onboarding um, workflow work for us and for them, so that we have all the information, all the information written down, uh, forming contracts, and also making sure that we understand mutually between them and us what it is that we're doing for each other.